Hey, welcome back to Computer Tech and More. Today I'm going to continue on about best laptops for price categories. Previously I talked about what CPUs I felt were the best for each category and I just had these up for a couple seconds and we're going to continue this and talk about uh, 1200 to 1800. You want 8 to 16 gigs of RAM, 16 is more recommended at this price point. The largest SSD. Personally, I wouldn't buy 11th gen Intel at this price point, but uh, Ryzen 5000, Ryzen 6000 are definitely uh, top notch here. At this price point, you're looking at basic to high spec premium laptops, uh, mid build quality for all around gaming laptops, and low build quality for super high spec. Uh, again, you choose what's most important to you. So I have a uh, Yoga 940, so it's the precursor to this style uh, from Lenovo, the 9i, and I really love the form factor. It's got great connectivity, um, Gen 2, and two Thunderbolt 4s. It's got the P-series processor, but I'd really be looking for it at the 12880P uh, uh, CPU. It's only XE graphics, so if you need gaming, it this isn't it. And since I purchased it, they've added a middle option for the display. Rather than going from 1080p to 4K, they added a 2K display, which is the one I'd actually get for this. I think 2K is uh, perfect for, uh, well, laptops. And, uh, well, it does cost a pretty penny. And then uh, Yoga 7i with Intel Arc graphics. So reviews are starting to come out with the Intel Arc graphics card, whether or not it's good for gaming. I haven't seen enough information to when, way one way or the other, but it does have a 2K display, uh, 12500H CPU. Uh, you can check uh, the first part of this video for what its P and E core count are. I don't recall it offhand. I, th I think it's got six P cores. Uh, that's a 12 core total, so maybe it's got four P cores. I think it's got eight uh, efficiency cores, 12 gig or 512 gig uh, SSD, 16 gigs of RAM. So all around pretty good specs for light gaming laptop while still being a two-in-one form factor. Uh, IdeaPad Gaming 3i uh, at 12700H RTX 3050. So you get better build quality here, even though the specs, we've seen some of these CPUs and GPU combinations earlier on. Or maybe you're just getting a bigger SSD, that kind of thing. Although this one only has a 256, so that's a little bit on the low side in 1080p. Uh, then the Legion 5 Pro with a 3070, a 5800, or 5800H from Ryzen. A little bit less expensive version. And then you've got uh, light gaming, as I'm gonna call it, because it has the MX550. So you can play some older games on this. It's definitely better than XE graphics and uh, pretty really any integrated, but it's uh, not a gaming computer by any stretch until you hit like the 3050 over here and over here. And uh, so it's what build quality are you looking for? Do you want a two-in-one? If you want two-in-one, you have to go this. If you're happy with a clamshell laptop for the same price and a vast difference in GPU performance with uh, a lot of the other display features being very similar. And then HP's options and some uh, Asus options that I felt were probably going to be in this price category. And then we have 1800 to 2000. I really should update that to 16 gigs of RAM only, the largest SSD. Uh, I wouldn't consider a U series at this category, P only, but you might find some U series Intels in here. Uh, you really want higher build quality here and high for high spec gaming laptops, um, really super high premium laptops if you're looking at Intel P versus Intel H. And it better be like the best build quality if you're looking at a U series. So speaking of that, here's a Lenovo Slim 9i 14 inch. 
it's got a very hefty price tag at $2,139 and it only has a 1280p the i7 so that's a 6 uh, performance core 8 efficiency core 1 terabyte SSD it does have a 4k display uh, OLED but this just seemed uh, too expensive for what you're getting but if if you need a premium laptop that has four Thunderbolt or I'm sorry two Thunderbolt ports uh, another actually might have three Thunderbolt ports four and five yeah so it, it's got a lot of premium features but it, I again without being hands-on and I can't couldn't justify this price personally the Legion 7 would be a top-notch gaming computer at this price point. 59HX, uh, 2K display, HDR500, 32 gigs of RAM, RTX 3080. So you can really see the vast difference in price and what you're getting for that price. The Razer Blade 14 is in this price category. It's also kind of underpowered for the price you're paying for it but if you like that form factor then it's a great computer to get and then uh, Dell Alienware got the M15s G15s Alienware 14 so they're all sitting in this price category and I'll leave this up for a couple of seconds for the different specs that you're getting and these two are really very similar in price and one's an RTX 3050 versus 3060 a uh, uh, 12500H versus a 12700H, so you are paying a premium for a uh, smaller size, apparently. And then Dell, you get, can buy an XPS 15, which is uh, regarded as one of the best, uh, like, workstation, uh, kind of all-around laptops, an XPS 13, and uh, I have two 13s right next to each other, both of them plus series, and you can see what you get for the different price. 16 gigs versus 32 gigs of RAM. Both have 512 processors, 1080p display versus a essentially 4K display. Uh, and well, this one does have a much better CPU. And then the Inspiron 16 Plus Alienware 14X Gaming. So this is right at the top of that price category with an RTX 3060. Both have 3060s in them. Both have the same uh, processor, but this one's a lot slimmer, probably. Again, I haven't been hands-on with any of these laptops. These are ones just spoke to me when I was doing research for this online. And then $2,200 plus, what to look for. Whatever you want. Money is no concern, just get whatever you want, okay? So, uh, Razer is in this category. Pretty much anything everything you want from it there are 17 inch ones they are insanely expensive that's way beyond what i would spend uh the zen the asus pro art zen books and other ones just leave it for a couple seconds let you take a look at them if it was something speaks to you the flows uh these are two-in-ones type laptops with that can hook up to an external GPU and the Zypher series. And the Tough series and uh, the different Alienware in this price. So these are some of the ones that uh, jumped out at me at uh, this $2,200 plus price point.